Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 4. Last time, we made it to this checkpoint after going through Mount Giga, so let's go through the checkpoint and see if we can make our way over to Shik. Let's see what we got over here. And we got some more upbeat music there. Ooh, and a chest. We should go try and get that chest for sure. Hey, it's that thief. Uh-huh. Right. Why can't you get through the gate? Just walk right on through, man. Can't be that hard. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Uh-huh. Oh, and here's an inn if you want to rest up, but we're all good, I believe. Let me check to make sure. Are we all good? Um, yeah, we could probably use... Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and rest up. Sure, why not? Sure. And I won't worry about saving for right now. That'll be all good. Okay, let's keep moving forward here. Uh-huh. As a matter of fact, we would. Can you tell me how to get there? Why not? I'll just go punch him in the face. It'll be fine. Oh, I see. Perfect. Yeah, that, <coughs> that should be just fine. Why? There's only two of them. It'll be fine. Besides, Ursula's got a gun. Yeah, absolutely. Ursula's like a ninja. It'll be fine. <coughs> Why? Uh, no, I like this plan. <laughs> Whoa, is Ryu trying to cop a feel there? Dude! Ryu! Either that or he's uh, stopping short there, you know what I mean? I used that move on Estelle 40 years ago. I stopped short. No? I don't know. Alright, Craig, what are you going to do here, buddy? What? Yeah, sure are. Hey, maybe you can let us through now that you know who we are. Yeah, it is me. Uh-oh. Why? Just don't say anything. Just pretend you never saw me. Uh-oh. Relax there, buddy. Oh, great. Now they're going to attack us. And this is a Y... Uh, sorry, Y Troop and G Troop. Yeah, these, okay. So, these things are really easy. Watch this. Yeah, just slap them around a little bit. This should not, believe me, this battle is not that hard. Just hit him in the head, and it'll be fine. See? No problem. Good job, Cray. Ooh, get some nice experience for that, too. That was easy. Now we get some a Void Sphere and a Dynamite. Excellent. Ha <laughs> Y'all suck. Oh, oops, excuse me. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's all good. Yes. Now what are you doing, Nina? Sure! Why not? The wagons are right there. Why? How? Why? Why wouldn't we be able to do that? Okay. Well, Nina said uh, that we should use the wagons to jump across. Now, how exactly are we going to do that? Well, if you notice over here, you have a frog that's kind of jumping on the little... Uh, wagon there, and that's a little hint as to what to do. So, first thing we want to do is put Cray in the lead. Now, basically what we're going to do is kind of give you a little tutorial on how this works. Now, basically now with Cray in the lead, you can actually push this little this little wagon here. Now, you can only push it in the direction that the wheels are facing. Like if I try to do this... Yeah, see it says you can't push it that way. Sorry, I had a little cough there I had to deal with there, but no problem. Okay, so now what you do is you go up here, and if you jump off the roof like this, Whee! We can jump right over and get this chest. And in the chest we get a ginseng. Now we can just jump down. And that's how that works. Now, to get across here, we'll have to jump on these wagons here. Now let me show you how to do this. So basically what you do is you push this one up four times. One, two, three. Okay, never mind. I guess only three. Sorry, I don't know why I said four. 
Okay, uh, now let's rotate the camera so you can see what I'm doing over here. Now I want to push this one over so that it lines up with uh, the other <coughs> with the other um, wagon there. Just like that. Now let's rotate the camera around. Uh, oops. Let's rotate the camera around again. And now if I go up here and up this way, and if I jump across like this, I should be able to Yeah, just like Mario doing the triple jump there in Mario 64. And now we jump down. And we're done! And that's all there is to getting past the gate. Haha, <laughs> those guards are idiots. Very nice. Wow, kind of got a long journey here. Well, let's head up this way to Schick. Okay, now before going on, we actually want to... Uh... Go here. Okay. So now we have a yen and four surugas there. So uh, basically we're going to try and use attacks to take them all down. Um, you know what? Let's uh, can I do this with Urshan. Yeah, let's show off uh, some of Urshan's new magic ability here. Now, she's got level, now that she has Diaz inside of her, um, she has level three magic. Uh, uh, did I put the gun on Ursula? Yeah, I did. Okay, and Nina, why don't you hit them with... Do you have an attack that hits anybody? A uh, cycling. Yeah, that works. Let's just take all these guys down. Nice. Yeah, good shot there, Urshan. Woo! <coughs> and what's cool about Urshan, uh, with those level 3 magic attacks, is when she's in the back row, she recovers her AP really easily, because her CP is so high. And basically, it means uh, we, can, we can crank her up pretty good. So, there you are. Okay. Now, before going on, I believe if you go up this path, there's a way... Yeah, we can run off to the right here. So we definitely want to do this. And if we go over here... All right, we got a level for Ursula there. Yeah, our wisdom goes up again. And she learns the spell Enfeeble. Yeah, we'll go over that uh, a little bit later. Okay, so if we exit here to the east... Oh, it opens up a new area here. So let's go check it out. Now, this area is only accessible if you enter a question mark area between the checkpoint and Schick. So you want to make sure that you do that, for sure. Oh, man, we got more of that creepy dragon music. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess we should get to Ryu. Let's talk to this guy. And this is Su Ryong. This sounds like another dragon name. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so we can communicate with the trees. That's kind of cool. Wow, that must really suck to hear the footsteps of every person that walks ever. That's just got to be mind-blowing, you know what I mean? That's just got to be a really, really, really difficult life. And this is the Tree of Wisdom, even though it doesn't really look like much of a tree. But yes, please help me. Sure, sounds good to me. Whoa, that looks like a pretty cool form. Kind of like that. Now we are able to draw upon the power of the tree dragon. We learn Holy Circle. Excellent. Yeah, more dragon spells for Ryu. I love it. <clears throat> All right, and now we can continue on in our journey, so let's do that. Let's head up to Shik. Alright, let's take a look around, see what we can find here. Home of the... Oh, the best sailors in the world, Vivi. Oh, the only non-mud sea in the world, so this is a pretty clean place, is what you're telling me. Hey, you come back here. Hey, hey. Oh, cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. Very nice. Alright, let's take a look around and see what we got here. Oh. Wait, does this mean I'm going to be able to get a ship? Most of the time when I enter seaports in the game, I'm able to get a ship. All right. Oh, the sand flyers, eh? Oops. Very nice. Uh, okay. Now, before going on, I believe if I check this cabinet, 
We get a water bomb. Very nice. Let's go down here. If we talk to this dude. Hey, another treasure upgrade. Yes. We get the silver ball. Uh, it sure is. Can I enter there? No, I don't think I can. That's not a chest I can get, is it? Nope. Okay, so that means that I can go get another spell from Marlock. So I'll do that. Uh, oops. I'll do that a little bit later. All right, let's keep taking a look around, see what else we can find. Okay, so let's go this way. Back up around. Rotate the camera around so I can see a little better. Yeah, so you always want to check little uh, areas to see if there's anything that, any importance there. Oh. Or, if you want to leave the town. <laughs> you can actually do that also. All right. Let's, let's try that again. But at least it tells you where you need to go. That's cool. Yeah, whose boat is that? Oh, he's probably at the pub. Sweet! So this would be like new... Oh, so this is kind of like New Horizons. Um... Yeah, that's no problem. Just jump over... Just do some jumping. You'd be alright. The cat was meowing, not purring. S silly game. Western continent, eh? I'll keep that in mind a little bit later. All right, here. Sure. Let's, uh, let's actually, probably should. It wouldn't hurt us to upgrade our equipment there. Uh, okay. So it's a large two-handed sword, but the problem is it only um, it only does one damage. Like you can only hit one time, right? I'd much rather be able to hit twice. I'm not necessarily going to worry about that. Um, flintlock. Um, I guess that would be, be a little bit better than the scatter shot. Sure. Why not? And it didn't cost that much to upgrade, so that's good. Uh, okay. Now we definitely can probably use to probably upgrade, stand to upgrade our equipment, our armor a little bit there. Um, yeah, we should probably upgrade our equipment a little bit, so let's do that. And upgrade his equipment. <coughs> okay, sorry. And now here, uh, do we need to upgrade armor for you? Nah, we'll be okay there. Um, do you want to upgrade a Brigadine for him? Sure, why not? All right, very good. Uh, quarter staff. Oh, you know what? That could be helpful too. Yeah, let's like upgrade his equipment there. Weather wand, we're good. Claim I'm not gonna worry about because they can again, they can both hit twice, and that's that'll do more damage than a single-handed attack. So very good. All right, very nice. And if we go down here, this is the pub. Yeah, this is kind of like New Horizons. We gotta. Oh, and this is an inn. I do not want to rest in the inn. Of a pub. Yes. We get to talk to the sailors. Very good. Let's rotate the camera around so I can see them a little better. What? Sure, why not? Why not? How are you sweating there? The god of the sea. Oh. Okay, so now we need to find this god of the sea. How the hell are we going to do that? All right, well, maybe someone can help us where the god of the sea is. Well, are you going to are you going to tell me where the god of the sea is? Oh, well, we got to make sure that we do that. All right. Well, that kind of sucks. Now what are we going to do? Well, we got to find this god of the sea somehow. Maybe somebody in maybe somebody in here can help us with where that god of the sea is. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Uh, did this guy will say the same thing. Yes. Oh, the fane of the sea god. That's where we need to go next. But before doing that, now that we're out, now that we are out here, first let me get to my get to fane so that I can actually warp back. Cool. Okay. Now let's uh, pull up the map. And let's list, and we want now we want to go back to Sinesta. Yep. So that I can talk to Marlock. And upgrade my uh wait, not Sinesta, I'm sorry. 
That's not where I want to go. Okay, just kidding. I need the next treasure upgrade before I can get the next skill from Marlock, so... My apologies. <clears throat> so, let's just keep uh, heading on with the story. So let's just warp back to Fane, and we can move on. I love this shift spell. This makes life so much easier. All right. Now let's just go up here. Ooh, a chest. All right, we got uh, blue balls. So here's some of the enemies that we can face off here. Uh, we want to try and take all these guys out as quickly as possible. So let's use multi at targeting attacks. Um, and then Ursula can hit everybody. And then Ryu, go nuts. Hmm. There you go, good shot, Ursula. Woo, good shot, Ryu. That was pretty outstanding. I wonder why uh, Ursula didn't hit twice. I thought she had a... Huh. I thought she was able to hit everybody. Oh, I hope I didn't sell that weapon by mistake. That would have been bad. Hold on, let me uh, check here. Did I sell her weapon by mistake? That would have been... Uh, yeah, I did. Shoot! Um, okay, that's no problem. No problem. I, 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 honestly, that's completely fine. I'd much rather be able to hit twice. What? Yes, that would be great. Uh, okay. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, no problems there. Yeah, so if you try to kind of talk to this guy earlier, um, he basically says, uh, you can't go through until, you know, I'm not going to let you come through, whatever. This is the place of the sea gods. So you have to talk to that guy in town and trigger that event before you're able to come this way. All right, we got another new enemy here, the Bad Coil. With the Mud Puppet, uses Sleep and Command. So we want to try and take these guys out as quickly as we can. Um, so again, uh, let's have Sias take them out. Uh, Urshan, actually no, I'm going to switch to you. You take these guys out. And Ursula, why don't you... You have Cyclone, don't you? By the way, Enfeeble lowers the wisdom of one target, so... Take him down there, Ursula. <laughs> oh! Yeah, Ryu is just a tank right now. Hopefully we can take these guys out in one hit. Shoot! I needed, I needed Nina to help with that. Okay, no big deal. Now we're gonna put someone to sleep. Aha! I think I fought these mud pups earlier in the game, but... Oh! Jeez! Well, that worked a little too well there. Ah, but fortunately, with three, uh, with, um, six party members, someone else just jumps right in. Beautiful. Go get him, Cray. Oh, nice shot, Urshan. I like about this, it tells you how many turns that they are going to be asleep for. So I think that's pretty cool, too. Good job, everybody. And not a whole lot of experience, but no big deal. Yeah, I'm not worried about Ursula not being able to hit everybody. That gun wasn't really that strong. And we get a hanger, which I believe is a... I believe is a fishing item. Let me check to make sure that's, in fact, true. Whoops. By the way... By the way, this is pretty cool. Uh, what I can do there is with the dynamite and the void sphere there. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, see, hangers just another fishing item there. So, okay, very good. Well, let's keep. <coughs> okay, let's keep moving. And up this way. Now we get to an, an ammonia. Very nice. Okay, so just some more mud pups there, no problem. Now, before going up there, we actually want to go down this ramp right here and into here. Yeah, so this can be a little bit tricky if you're not careful there. Okay, now we want to go this way. And... And now we want to go over here. Make some more new enemies here. The Rollobs and the uh, 
and the ballers there. Baller, or the mass crab, rather. Okay, so we want to start by taking out the, uh, let's see. Okay, so, so we have baller and roll out there. Uh, just use physical attacks with them. Actually, hold on. Let's get Ursula so we can attack twice. And Ryu so we can attack twice as well. Now watch this. It'll whoop all kinds of ass here. Yeah, nice shot, Ursula. Ho, 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 ho. Ryu is able to one-shot enemies now. I love it. All right, very good. Okay, actually, we want to go this way. And just keep following the path. And through here. <clears throat> and up here. Uh, now we want to go into this cave first. Because if we get, we get a wetsuit. Very nice. Which I believe is a piece of armor that... Yeah, so it's a little bit less defense, but it increases... Uh, it increases uh, water attacks there. Um, let's see, who needs the defense boost? Yeah. Actually, no, you don't need it as much as Nina does, so let's give her the wetsuit there. There we go. Very good. Now we want to go up this way. And if we go in here, we get... Not only a rat in battle, but... Wavestone! But what exactly were you supposed to do with this Wavestone? And will we be able to get the blessing of the Sea Dragon? You'll have to wait until next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, check out my blog, check out my donations page, and as always, take care, y'all.